You know, when I came in today, I was asked, what's my sermon going to be about? And I didn't know. But now I know. And my sermon today is going to be, look what God has done for us. Look what Jesus has done for us. He's done something that we would never be able to do for ourselves. Now, my sermon is coming from the lectuary. And I'm going to be bouncing around like a ball. So y'all try to keep up. My first scripture is coming from Isaiah chapter 50, verse 4. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the worry with a word. Morning by morning, he wakens me, wakens my ear to listen at those who are taught. You know who that is? That's Jesus. Every day, Jesus will get up and spend time with God and hear a word from God. And that's what we, what we should do. When you get up early in the morning, in the middle of the night, 3 o'clock time, spend time with God. Listen for God. Now, God is not going to talk to you verbally, but he's giving you his word in his book, in the Bible. You can read the Bible and hear the heart of God. And let me tell you, the more time you spend with God, the more you're going to want to spend. It's like eating good food. You, like a child, you give him the food and he spits it out because he don't know what it is. But once you keep feeding him, the child, the baby, finds out that it's nourishment to his body. And that's what the word of God is. Amen. It's, yes. it's nourishment to your body. And let me tell you, right now so you don't go acting crazy, God can't change your heart. Yes. God doesn't change your heart. Only you can change your heart. But look at what God can do. He can change your mind. Yes, glory. See, if God can change your mind, then you're able to change your heart. Yes. Because your mind has changed. Instead of your mind being evil and corrupt. Because uh -huh. see, the only thing that proceeds out of heart is evil thoughts. And evil action. That's all that's in the heart, evil. But your mind can be changed. Yes. How? With the washing of the word. Hallelujah. See, the word that God has given us will change you. Yes. Like food changes that child, yes. that baby. You'll start desiring the word. Yes. The more time you spend with God, and understand what he's saying to you, the more you are desired to him. Yes. And the more, see, the, the Bible says, seek ye first yes. the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Yes. But we don't believe that because we're still in the natural. Yes. We think that we have to work for what we got, what we get. Yes. We have to work for that car. We have to work for that house. We have to work for that woman. Yes. Have to work for everything that we receive. We have to get out and labor. Yes. But let me tell you, when Christ died on that cross, He said, "It is finished. You don't have to work no more." Yes. Why? Because God said. I will supply all your need. What do you need? You need transportation. You need a cell phone. You need clothes. You need a job. Whatever you need, God's going to supply. 
But then he also says, whatsoever you desire. Yes. Like a motor coat, a second house, a third car, a good family, good children. These are the things that we desire. But God has already done the work. All you got to do is seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Yes. And those things that he added unto you are called blessings. Yes. Blessings of the most high God. Yes. Amen. God will bless you coming and he'll bless your going. Yes. The Lord God has opened my ear. And I was not rebellious. I did not turn backwards. See, what that is, is that when God begins to talk to you from his word, and you begin to receive his word, your the rebellion nature will leave you. And you won't turn back to it. And what you got to do is you got to wash yourself. You got to renew yourself. You got to renew your mind. And how do you do it? By the washing of the word. Yes. You got to seek God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. Now, at one time, I played with God. You know, I dabble a little bit, read a little bit, read two verses a uh, month. But then, <clears throat> God's word began to catch hold of me. <laughs> and that sin nature began to wash away off of me. And I felt something happen. And I felt a desire. Yes. You'll get a desire to run after God. Yes. The Bible says like a, a deer panting at the water. You'll want more. More. Because see, when a deer pants at the water, that scent that's on him begins to wash off. Yes. And other animals predators won't be able to smell it. Uh -huh. And he'll find safety. He'll find shelter. That's what the word of God will give you. Shelter. Yes. He'll become your high tower. He'll become your fortress. He'll become your safe haven. Yes. All your enemies may surround you. But when you got God on your side, he'll destroy your enemies. Yes. He'll chase them off. He'll rid you of them. Just like when the children of Israel were coming out of the wilderness, all their enemies, big kingdoms, ten times bigger than them. Ten, five kings came after them, five nations came after them at one time. And God said, be not afraid, yes. for I am with you. Amen. I am thy God. I will protect you. Yes. Be strong. And courageous. The battle is not yours. Uh -huh. It's the Lord. Yes. Let God fight your battle. Yes. See, once you get that taste, once you start getting in that word in you, and see, you can't get the word in you unless you receive Jesus. Yes. Jesus is the word. And how do you get the word? Through the Bible. Uh -huh. God has put all the instructions, all the ingredients, Everything you need to do is in, is in the Bible. Yes, glory. Seek ye first the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. <laughs> yes. It sounds like a hard thing, but it's an easy thing to do. But first, you got to change your mind. Yes. You got to say to yourself, Self, we're going after God. <laughs> Self, we're going to serve God. See, the people, when Jesus walked, he showed them. The enemy came after them in the form of war, captivity, sickness, and disease. Yeah. And guess what? Jesus defeated them all. Yeah. All of them. He brought them out of captivity. He cured them of their disease. He brought them finances. He demolished all their enemies. But let me say this. 
if he doesn't get rid of your disease and you should pass away for us and fall asleep, that's good. Because you know why? He's going to bring you out into a better place. See, this life we're walking right now, this is the practicing ground. You remember how when you were little and you used to say, I'll sure be glad when I get grown. Then I'll be able to do what I want. And you blinked and was grown that fast. And that's what the Bible says. In a twinkling of the eye, you'll be caught up and taken to heaven. You think that's a long time? No. Just like it wasn't a long time that you was a child before God raised you up to adulthood. But to get the benefit, mm -hmm. to get the blessings, yes. you got to yes. read the word. Uh -huh. The word's got to get in you. See, there was a light that shined upon the land. And the people perceived the night, perceived the not. And that light was Jesus, the light. And God is right now is turning on the light. Yes, he is. And I'm flipping the switch for him. I'm turning on the light for Jesus, not the light. I don't have a light. But I can be the light of the world to show you the way. I can point you to Jesus. That's all I can do. Yes. That's all I want to do is point you to Jesus so you can have a good life here on earth today and an apple light. Because, see, God's got a mansion for you. Yes. And Jesus said, if it was not so, he would have told you. Come on. Do you believe? Do you trust? I mean, if you're walking with Christ now and you're trusting him, then trust that he has a mansion for you. Trust yes. that he has eternal life for you. See, Jesus died on the cross for you. Thank you Lord. That horrible death yes, sir. Thank you. where the beard was pulled out, yes. where his friends ran and hid their faces from him, yes. where those that he healed mocked him. You probably got people mocking you right now. And that's a horrible thing. It hurts. But we have one that's going to take all that sorrow, yes. all that pain, all yes. that discomfort upon himself for you. And he's going to wash you in the blood, his blood yes. that was spilled for you. So that you don't have to go through that. The verse I read was Isaiah 50, verse 4. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen at those who are taught. And you are being taught right now. The Bible, the word of God, teaches you. And it sustains you. And it keeps you. And it grows you. Everything you need is in the word of God. See, what you need to do, read the word, pray, uh -huh. fast, Believe, Glory. trust, yes, Lord. and tell others. Mm -hmm. And guess what? God will take care of the rest. Amen. Yes. I'm not going to be before you long. But I thank God that my, pre my preaching and the word that he has given you through me is growing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because, see, when I first started preaching, I knew the word, and I believed in trusting God, but I needed more word. So I started reading my Bible more faithfully. And he's growing me, and he's teaching me, and he's showing me how to sustain the word. 
And as he's done this for me, he can do it for you. So brothers and sisters, wherever you are, all over the world, I ask you to stay with us, the ecumenical church. The evangelical ecumenical church and all the ministers. And we will help you grow closer to Christ. We will help you to get into heaven. Now, we don't have a heaven to put you in. But as we follow Paul, as Paul followed Christ, we can lead others to Christ. Yes. Now, those who don't have Christ as their Lord and Savior, I invite you now, wherever you are, in your homes, in this church, on the radio, to stand and pray this prayer with me. Yes, Lord. And let Jesus become your Lord and Savior. And let him grow you. Yes. We're going to plant and water. Yes. Father God, repeat after me, Father God, Father God I, come before you, I come before you a sinner. A sinner. Yes, I'm a sinner. Yes, I'm a sinner. I, know I've done bad things. I know I've done bad things. But Lord God, but Lord God I, come to you I come to you in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Over my, life. over my life. Lord, forgive me, Lord, forgive me. For, all the wrong, for all the wrong, for all the, the, the bad things, the, the evil things, things that I have done. Have, done. have mercy on me, Lord. Receive me, Lord God. Father, I believe that Jesus is your first beloved son. And Lord, that he died on the cross for my sins. And, Lord, he was buried in a tomb and was resurrected. And I believe in the resurrection. Lord, I believe your word is true. Receive me, Father God. Forgive me and lead me and guide me. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you said that prayer, I believe that God has called you home, that he will receive you. Hallelujah. Remember, yes. you got to be taught. Praise Read your Bible, the basic instructions Praise before God. leaving earth, and pray. Talk to God. Uh -huh. Give all your worries and desire to him, yes, Lord. and watch him work, because the work had been done. It was done on the cross. As Jesus said, it is finished. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. I'm going to turn it over to Reverend Isabel. Amen.